something about yourself. All right, I'm majoring in art history, I'm minoring in French, now tell me about you. And what are your plans when you graduate? What every woman dreams of, a nice home, the right fella, pitter patter of little feet. Dogs? <laughs> sure, silly. It's funny, I always thought you'd be a banker, an entrepreneur, a prize fighter. Well, I feel that at a time when a woman's trying to wear the suspenders in the family, it's my duty to champion the virtues of the homemaker. Personally, I'm glad to see women enter the workforce. Of course, I could be a working homemaker. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought that that little girl in braces and corrective shoes would turn into what I see? Oh, stinky. <laughs> I'm glad your mother warned me that you were such a knockout. My mother? When did you talk to her? Just last week. Uh, she got my number at your cousin's wedding. Oh, did she? Yeah, she thought it would be nice for us to have a little reunion. I think it was a great idea. Well, there's no end to my mother's great ideas. She's just full of them. No, man, I don't, I don't want to hear nothing about no recycling, no bicycling, and all the kind of cycling that you hear. <laughs> there you are. I have been looking all over for you, too. Can't let me look at you, darling. Whitley, did we ever think that skinny little bookworm would turn into such an attractive man? <laughs> I'm learning to expect the unexpected. <laughs> uh, Ken, will you come tonight to my little cocktail party for my board of trustees? Don't even think about saying no. Um, what time should I be there? Well, let's say 6.30. I couldn't have asked for a more perfect evening if I had planned it myself. <laughs> 